generate parenthesis So, uh, given n pairs of parentheses, write a function to generate all combinations of well-formed parentheses. Yeah, it just screams yes. to me that it's like a backtracking question. <laughs> yeah, and like constraints. Yes, yes. Yeah. Fine. So we can discuss it in the Google Sheet, and then we can implement it using using backtracking. Yeah. We can create you know like a pattern like which questions you can solve using backtracking and which questions you can solve using VFS. You can create a yes. like a like a tutorial where you can create pattern and which questions you can solve using this pattern. So we'll do it some other time. Yeah. So let's open the Google Sheet uh, doc and let's try to uh, do a backtracking and. Solve it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, sort of, so you want to implement it? Uh, like, uh, just give me a second. Okay. Let's do it in Java. So, like, uh, should I directly write the code or? Yeah, like uh, you, you can discuss it here, and then we can uh, we can uh, uh, yeah just discuss the code here, and then uh, you will use the Java editor to like yeah just at first discuss it, then we'll see what to do. So yeah, discuss it. Uh, so here we are given n equal to three, and these are the possible parentheses that uh, we should generate. Mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, they should be like uh, proper, like uh, every like the brackets should be closed. Yes. Okay. So uh, what I can do? Let's also like, uh, put uh, the example here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, let's just take a list where I will store all my strings, list of strings, and uh, make a utility function where I will make all my calculations. Mm -hmm. And it input is an empty string. Okay. So, um, what I can do, like uh, we have to generate balance strings, uh, balance. Yeah parentheses right mm -hmm. so uh, I can take one counter mm -hmm. like uh, for uh, one is for the left parenthesis like the number of uh, left left parenthesis we need to generate and mm -hmm. one is right mm -hmm. so this should be the number of right parenthesis which we need to generate mm -hmm. so this is my util function and for this function like uh, okay if the function like string this is my str and int left int right so i will do all my work in this method and uh, uh maybe you can share the screen because we cannot see it so uh do one thing uh you start sharing okay. the screen and then you can solve it in your uh, editor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So I'll just okay. Let's uh, utility method. This is the utility method, uh, which will take one string as an input, mm -hmm. and there are two integers. I, uh, 
right and left okay so uh I mean the left can go till n but the right cannot go more than left right that is the logic <clears throat> if the left is not zero so uh we can add another string to it and make a call no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Now I get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I will make uh, a temporary string uh, which will be equal to this. Uh, I will do the dry run later. Like. Uh, Don't start yeah. writing the question like answer. Just first discuss it in the Google Doc. We understand. How it works, then we can write the okay. code. Yes. Yes. So at first, uh, for the example, I have one empty string, mm -hmm. the total number of uh, left braces and the total number of back braces. Okay. Uh, so this is my parameters for this method. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I can do, like, uh, Uh, I mean, we have to create a, a, a string length. of length uh, two into n, right? Like n is the number of uh, yes, yeah. Yes. And for every yes, step, yes, we yes. can do two things. We can either use left or right. Mm. But the thing is, uh, yes. the right can if the uh, right is equal to the left, then we cannot use right again because mm, yes. in every step, the the right has to be equal to or less than the left parenthesis, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. like if we put one left brace in here, mm -hmm. we will put it. Yes. Uh, right. You can always so, put the left uh, brace. Suppose... Still, the left is not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at first, uh, we are having this, uh, and uh, as the value of left is not zero we can put one left brace here and increment the left counter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it uh, clear? And for the next situation, like we will make a recursion here. Mm -hmm. We can also check uh, if it is, so uh, the value of two uh, is not zero. So we can also put one left brace here mm -hmm. and uh, we can do it like this mm, and um, also we can do that mm, yes yes we can do this also okay yes so uh then uh as the left is equals to zero mm. now we have to uh go to our next step where we have this as a string mm -hmm. and as the value of right is greater than left so as three is greater than zero we will put one this yes and value will be this two yes after that um, we can also do this mm -hmm. and but uh i think there is start. one like for the uh which one you think will, is more understandable if you take zero zero in the beginning and when you reach 3.3 three, mm -hmm. at the end, you stop it. I think that will be more understandable. Like what I mean is uh, like, you know, one second. So what I mean is like first we will start with empty and we have zero left, mm -hmm. zero right. So we have two possibilities. We have this, mm -hmm. no, we have only one possibilities because we cannot. One possibility. Yeah, we cannot use this. And, but for the second case, we have two possibilities. Like for this case, yes. we have two possibilities. We have like this, this, and two, or. zero. Or we have mm. this, this, 
one and one right and then we have for for this case we have again two recursion which will be this this yes. this and three and zero mm. or we will have one more possibility yes. will be this this and this which will be this two and two and one, one. and one. when you reach mm. three three we are uh, we save it in a global array mm. yes. does it make sense yes Okay, so yes. let's implement it like this way. Okay. This is more understandable. Like, should I implement it, sir? Yeah, yeah. Just write the code. Mm. Okay. Uh, like, there is one. Okay. List of string. It is our answer. Mm -hmm. And answer is equal to. Let's say if I have this method that solve. And the answer is zero. Also pass the n because you need to uh, know when oh, yes. yeah, you are reaching yes. the end. Hmm. And let's define the best case first. Yes, yes, yeah. If a uh, string and mm. uh, is equal to two into n. Yes. Yeah, this is six. So I will add this string here. Okay. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So if uh, left is not equal to n is less than n is okay it's less than n then uh, we can do like string dot uh, suppose one uh, mm -hmm. string n is yes right and we can call solve this method mm. uh, left should be incremented by one mm -hmm. right should be as it is and n should be as it is mm. and here if right is greater than left right because uh, we have to also make those strings valid yeah if right is less than left, then you just uh, add it or you just don't do anything. That will be right. If right is less than so, left, so you can add a right. If right is okay. less than left, then you can do it, right? Then you temp, you can add a right. Yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. So, this, this, this. you have any comments? No, I think we are going correct. Okay. Straight up. Land. Cool. Yeah, this work. Yes. Yeah. Great. Cool. So let's uh, stop it here and uh,